Hey, so day one complete of the oblon uh, insertion. Uh, my name's Jenna, and I'm doing this vlog to kind of keep track of what where I'm at at each stage. Uh, I think for the first week, I'm going to do one every day, and then after that, I'm try to just do weekly updates. Um, so at 12.30 today, I had the uh, balloon, first balloon inserted via a pill attached to a small micro catheter. And it was really simple. I left work uh, about 11.45. Well, yeah, 11.30. I got there about 12. My procedure was at 12.30. I was out of there by 12.45. I mean, it was really that simple. Uh, came in, they took my weight. So my initial consultation, I was at uh, 211. And then uh, today I weighed in at 205. Already getting results and I haven't even gotten the balloon. And I think it's just being more aware of your food. And one thing that I didn't do was binge eat prior to uh, doing this procedure. I think you... Once you have committed to doing it, you just need to start trying to dial in your food. It makes it a lot easier to not eat as much. <sighs> multivitamins. Take multivitamins. I will definitely need to start taking multivitamins. Um, so after they took my weight, they uh, dipped the capsule and water just to kind of get it started and they had two solo cups of water uh, fill in started sipping the water and I'd sip a few and then I'd wait and you kind of feel it and you take water sip but in the meantime you feel this tickle in the back of your throat from the micro catheter sticking out of the side of your mouth that the technician is holding off to the side I uh, thought I'd be more tripped out not that bad it really, it feels like, like when you have a chip stuck in your throat or something, like where you just want to cough lightly, but not like a hacking cough. But I did fine. Uh, they even supply a couple things of applesauce. So if you want to eat that to help the pill go down, I just asked them for the applesauce for lunch since I hadn't eaten yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't need it for uh, the actual pill. Uh, once the balloon capsule is dissolved after about a minute, uh, they do a test inflation of air where they just hold it at a certain pressure for a few minutes, uh, not even a few minutes, a few seconds. And then from there, about two minutes later, uh, they... After filling it up, they want to get that pressure down to 13.0. And they have a digital monitor on top of a pre-allocated pressurized can of air that they're using, uh, especially for this device. So it doesn't risk any sort of overinflation or anything else. But they do make sure that the balloon is holding pressure prior to inflating it, which is great. And once... It's held steady at 13.0 for, I think it was a minute. She set the timer. Uh, once it was set for a minute, then she turned it off and said, okay, you're going to feel a blast of cold air. And you could feel the cold air like almost down here. And you're just, okay, almost like a blast. And then pulling the catheter out. And the worst part was when she got the end of the catheter. It was like right here. And you just feel like. Oh. But I didn't puke. And I didn't gag. Actually I, I, I give myself an A+. <laughs> um, but yeah. After, uh, after that. I mean. That was it. Uh, the nurse practitioner who was in the room was like, Oh, congratulations on your balloon baby. I was like, not my choice of words, but thank you. <laughs> I still thought it was funny. 
Um, so yes, I have a balloon baby. I am day one balloon baby. <sighs> Food, lunch, uh, I had pho broth only, no noodles. That's what I had. Uh, I wasn't hungry. I was hungry before, but after that I was not hungry. And I had me, I sipped it over the course of about an hour. So, uh, it wasn't, you know, like I was downing it at once. I wasn't really sure what I'd be able to handle. And I really suggest like, don't go have a binge eating session right after, you know, really eat your food, chew it, drink it slowly. Broth, broth, broth. Day one broth. Because if you do puke, then it makes it all that much easier to come back up. But no nausea at all. At all. I was pretty happy. Uh, a little bit of discomfort, like pressure. And I'm not sure if that's the acid or if that's just... The fact that there's now a balloon inside my stomach, but I can definitely feel something, but I don't feel something because I went right back to work and no problems. Actually, I felt more energetic than I have been in over a week. So, okay. Um, trying to think what else. Uh, so no rice noodles, no solids uh broth only and uh i feel like when i about a half hour before the procedure i took a uh anti-nausea and an anti-cramping medication that they had given me a prescription for and tonight and in the morning i will be taking a uh, acid reducer every day about 40 milligrams so I think the medication's worn off, so that's why I'm feeling a little more pressure than I did the rest of the day, but I'll tell you what, you take that medication a half hour before, and I don't know, I felt better than I have been for a long time. Then, uh, but like I said, right now it's just uncomfortable. It's not painful. It's not cramping. It's just uncomfortable. But I have a feeling as the balloon settles where it's supposed to be in the stomach. I, I don't see there being any issue. I'm already seeing a decrease in appetite. Uh, even when I drank the broth, it was about a quarter of what I would normally serve for myself. Instead of uh, two cups of broth, it was literally like a quarter cup of broth. So, that was fine. That was it. So, end of day one. Uh, please subscribe so you can follow and uh, share if there's anybody that you know that's considering. But really, this is more for me and hopefully educate those that are just have no idea. Because I had no idea about this. Even three weeks ago, I had no idea that this existed. And here I am with a balloon in my stomach. It's pretty cool. Uh, I even took a picture of the x-ray that they did after the balloon was inserted to make sure it was in the right spot. It's pretty neat. So other than that, have a wonderful day. I will update you tomorrow.